Sometimes the Chromebook that you are using at school or at home may have an issue with having older software like an old version of Zoom. Power washing a Chromebook can help reset applications as well as it gets rid of all of the local files and settings on that Chromebook. The first thing to remember is that before power washing, it's best if you make sure that the Chrome operating system is up to date. In Austin ISD, students have access to the Gopher Buddy extension, which you can use to check your operating system and update the operating system before you do a power wash. When you're ready to power wash your laptop, do make sure that you have the current Wi-Fi password for wherever you are. So if you are at home, Make sure you know the Wi-Fi channel and password so that you can complete the power wash. Another thing to do would be to get into your Chromebook, into the Files app, and make sure all of your local files that you need are saved. I have nothing in my My Files or my, my Download, so I don't have anything to move over, but I could save those files. Once I've backed up or saved my local files, then I'm going to start the process. It's always best to make sure that you're plugged into the power so that you do not run out of battery while you're doing the install. By selecting the very bottom right corner, I can see the status of my battery and it tells me right now it's plugged in and charging. So now I'm going to go ahead and shut down. In the bottom left settings, I do have the little power symbol at the top and I'm going to hit the power and that is now shutting down my Chromebook. Now I'm going to hold down the escape key, the refresh key, and push the power button all at the same time. And that's going to restart my Chromebook. Now that the Chromebook restarted, I will see this screen that says insert a USB stick. At this screen, I'm going to hold down the control key and the D key. I get a message here that says to go ahead and press enter. So I will hit the enter key. Now I see the screen with the red exclamation mark. I'm just going to click the enter key on the keyboard one more time. After a slight pause, the Chromebook is going to reboot and this may take a little while. After a successful reboot, I'll see the Let's Go button. So I'll go ahead and touch the Let's Go button and select my Wi-Fi. At this point, I'll put in the password for my Wi-Fi. If this is my home or another location away from school, this is where I needed to have the correct password to log into the Wi-Fi. And once I've done that, I'll click Connect. On the screen, I'm going to go ahead and click Accept and Continue and it will begin to enroll this Chromebook into Austin ISD. Now that it's done, I'll click the Done button. The power wash is now finished, so now I can go ahead and sign in like I normally would. At this point, at the All Set window, I need to click Get Started. And now I am logging in on a freshly power washed Chromebook. Any apps that I have used are updating and this Chromebook should be good to go. Remember, the first step is to make sure that you update the operating system. If your Chromebook is several versions behind, the power wash may not fully update the operating system. If you're still having issues with apps or software that is not working right after you have power washed your Chromebook, that will be a good time to contact the technology student support or follow the directions for trading in your Chromebook.